What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is WWE SummerSlam 2019 edition. Alright guys, so I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys. We got the arena loaded up as you guys can see. SummerSlam 2019 coming this Sunday, guys. NXT TakeOver on Saturday. Great wrestling weekend coming up. I'm super duper excited. I'm going to take you through the entire action figure setup. And it's kind of weird because I could have sworn there was like 15 matches on this card, but only 10 are announced. And so I was going to do my predictions today, but I feel like they're going to announce some more matches. And so since that is the case, I'm going to wait, do my predictions tomorrow, and therefore switch the setup to Wednesday so you guys can see it and let's just let's just go through it guys epic SummerSlam setup continuing let's hit it up before we get into that guys we have the theme Bray Wyatt and I know it's not very good right now it's just a regular Bray Wyatt elite with with the you know with the fiend mask on there but you know what it, it's you know he's in here in the dark you see how like that's weird man it's like so bright on camera but in RL it's freaking dark to be honest with you look how dark that is look how dark that is but then when I zoom in and do this look how bright it gets that's weird but anyways there it is is in all of its glory. What the hell is that on the camera? Anyways, besides the point, guys, I don't know what the hell that is. It may be a ghost in here. But anyways, we have the Fiend Bray Wyatt right here taking on Finn Balor at SummerSlam, guys. And I hope to God that they keep it just regular Finn Balor versus the Fiend because I don't want the Demon to lose. I don't want my boy Finn Balor falling to the Fiend. So I think that uh, they're going to keep it regular Finn Balor. Have him lose here to the Fiend and then send him off TV there. But I wanted to include the Fiend, and I know it's not a very good custom. We're going to get a custom of the Fiend in here soon, but uh, right now I don't have that made. And so uh, Bray Wyatt's just chilling behind the scenes. So getting into the regular setup, guys, let's take you up front here. I need to get some lighting over here. We got Becky Lynch. This is probably the hardest move I've ever had to pose is the disarm her locked in on Natty backstage. You guys know that Becky Lynch will be defending her Raw Women's Championship against Natalya at SummerSlam in a submission match. And this is not a match that I'm really looking forward to. However, she Becky Lynch has to disarm her locked in on Natalya. And this matchup, again, I'm not much looking forward to it, but I'm sure they'll deliver better. You know, they're two of the better workers on Raw and so. This should be a solid matchup, just not just not really looking forward to it. But this pose was really hard to do, guys. You guys can see the women's articulation. If she had double-jointed knees, it would be a lot better. But having the single-jointed knees, the arms are being too short, it's really hard to get that disarm her pose locked in. But nonetheless, she's there. She's got it locked in, and Natalia is probably going to tap out to Becky at SummerSlam. Moving just behind, guys, we have the man, Finn Balor, not the demon, sort of walking around. I think this is the second or third setup in a row he's been walking around. And, you know, again, he's just chilling. He's just chilling, sort of just lost in the in the WWE shuffle as he usually is and so Finn Balor just walking around getting ready for his matchup with the Fiend which he's gonna lose we all know it and apparently the rumors are he's going to be taking some time off and maybe coming back with you know some new direction maybe doing a heel turn joining a certain club I'm not sure but uh, Finn Balor right here just chilling backstage walking around getting ready for SummerSlam just behind him guys we have my man Kevin Owens doing a power bomb onto Shane McMahon onto this storage unit case and I love this so much. I love Kevin Owens, one of my favorite wrestlers in the entire world and he's just delivering that huge power bomb to the back, to the spinal area of Shane McMahon onto that storage unit and this this matchup is taking place at SummerSlam. This is a long, you know, lasting rivalry in WWE between Shane McMahon and Kevin Owens and so they're going to go battle at SummerSlam. If Kevin Owens loses, he will have to quit WWE and I don't know where they're going to go with this storyline. You know, he's already missed a lot of time Time here recently, so I don't think that they would have him lose. Maybe he defeats Shane McMahon and Shane McMahon takes TV off. But the promos and the things that Kevin Owens has been doing uh, with this feud has been fantastic. He's just a great talent, man. And I hope that uh, he can get a win here and continue this momentum and maybe go on to fight the WWE Champion going into the later part of 2019. Just beyond that, guys, we have a legend matchup, or fantasy matchup, I should say, between Trish Stratus and Charlotte Flair, kind of squaring off here. Another match I'm not looking forward to that much much. I just don't know what to expect. I'm sure they'll deliver, but I, 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 on paper, I'm just not too hyped for it. It is a fantasy matchup for a lot of people, and so Trish Stratus and uh, you see Shane's foot just 
just kind of sticking in there. It's pretty funny. But Charlotte Flair and Trish going to square off in this fantasy matchup at SummerSlam. And so they're kind of having a little stare down, a little face off here in the backstage area, prepping for their match at SummerSlam. And I'm sure these women are going to deliver. Coming forward, guys, we have my man, Randall Keith Orton. Randy Orton right here. And you guys can see he has some hair chipping for some reason. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to paint that up, fix that up. But anyways, Randy Orton here with the WWE Championship around his waist because I think it is finally time for this man to get his 14th World Championship on the main roster here over Kofi Kingston. It's time for the reign to come to an end. Kofi Kingston loses to Randall Keith, the Viper here, and he's going to put him down, and I think that this is going to be a fantastic match. I'm very much looking forward to it. Kofi has been putting on matches that are just great over and over again. With everybody he's defended that championship against, he has been just killing it, man. He's, he really impressed me with this title run. I love the way WWE has booked it. He's been booked like a champion. He's been putting on great matches. So Randy Orton, it should be no less. It should be no different. And uh, I think that this is the time for Kofi's reign to come to an end. Have Randy Orton win. Go on a monster heel run here. Have Kevin Owens as the babyface coming up after he defeats Shane McMahon. And there is your good program going into late 2019. I think that would be pretty nice there. But Randall Keith just standing over Kofi like the Viper that he is and just, just looking great. So Randy Orton standing over Kofi Kingston. Coming forward a little bit guys, we have a flashback to Monday Night Raw where Brock Lesnar did an F5 onto Seth Rollins. My man Seth Rollins getting beat the hell out of on back-to-back -back weeks of Monday Night Raw as Brock Lesnar F5s him onto the stretcher. He beat he just beat the hell out of Seth, man. He F5'd him onto the chair. He was just beating the crap out of him. He assaulted him again on Raw and Seth Rollins just I, I really don't understand the booking on this one but nonetheless, Brock Lesnar's been beating the hell out of Seth and it'll be interesting to see how they book this thing moving forward into SummerSlam. Is Brock going to retain his Universal Championship or is Seth Rollins become a two-time Universal Universal Champion, slaying the beast for a second time. I just don't see why you would just repeat that, though. And what's what's the whole deal? I don't know where the hell they're going with this. I really do not. I mean, I feel like we've been stuck on, like, a loophole, you know, over and over again with, with WWE and their booking, just Brock being champion and Seth trying to chase and other guys trying to chase and Brock being champion. It's just, it's just getting old. So hopefully Seth can win and we can get him in a better program, a better Universal Championship run, and uh, it'll be a lot better the next go around. But hopefully Seth Rollins will win, but for now he is getting slammed onto this stretcher. Going to the back, guys, we have Drew Gulak, the Cruiserweight Champion, and what he's doing here, he's got his championship. I think he will win. He's, he's defending it against Oni Lorcan uh, at SummerSlam for the Cruiserweight Championship, and he's kind of just looking around at the madness. He's got a lot of madness going on to set up, and so Drew Gulak's just kind of confused. He's pretty, he's irritated. He's just kind of, you know, keeping his championship, and, he, and you know, he's just, he's just looking out for all the craziness. Coming right here, guys, we have a, a second or third uh, setup in a row, again, where the club has disposed of Ricochet. This time though, they have put him through the table. Ricochet planted through the table. The club running wild. The newly formed club again back together. And AJ Styles is United States Champion. They are going to have a rematch at SummerSlam for the United States Championship. And Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows in the corner. The club looking strong here. And I think that uh, I think they're going to win. I just don't see why would they play title flip-flop? If you were going to do that, why would you Why would you have Ricochet lose and then win it right back? It just wouldn't make sense. You got the club. You got this nice stable here and why would you ruin that as well I just think they need to keep the club together and have these guys you know go on a nice US title run for AJ and so uh, since I, I thought that Ricochet was gonna win and then keep the title but that didn't happen so now that you put the title back on AJ you got to give him a lengthy run with this this heel stable and let him run wild so that is what I'm going with and they're gonna stand tall at SummerSlam and to cap off our setup guys we have my man Dolph Ziggler absolutely getting pummeled by, by Goldberg here. What I envision is that Goldberg speared Dolph Ziggler into these wheelchairs, into that trash can full of these crutches and, he, and he's just, he's just, you know, celebrating. You know how he does his celebration, how he, get up, he gets up and he gets hyped after, you know, spearing somebody. That's what he did here. And so he took out Ziggler and Ziggler, I mean, guys, he is going to get absolutely buried. You know it is. I, I know that Goldberg's trying to make up for his terrible matchup with Undertaker, but I think uh, Goldberg is easily going to dispose of my man Ziggler. It's super sad to see. You hate to see it, but, you know, uh, I, I highly doubt this will be a competitive matchup, and so, uh, you know, this is this is what I draw it from. You know, Kevin Owens got buried by, Gold, by Goldberg, 
uh, that one time when he dropped the Universal Championship. Remember that? You remember when Kevin Owens jobbed out to Goldberg? And then uh, Kevin Owens just made uh, Dolph Ziggler look like a jobber in their most recent pay-per-view matchup. So why in the hell are we supposed to believe that Dolph Ziggler even has a chance? You know, he's going to get destroyed by Goldberg, and that's what I have going on right here. So Goldberg will slap Dolph Ziggler in like four seconds, and the matchup will be over. It'll be two pay-per-views in a row where Ziggler will be buried, and that is it for your setup. Very sad to see. I would have liked to seen Ziggler versus Shawn Michaels in a competitive matchup, but that doesn't look like that's going to be taking place, and that is it for our setup, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the setup video. We went through the SummerSlam 2019. Uh, again, I'm probably going to have my predictions going up tomorrow because uh, hopefully more matches will be announced. I mean, as of now, there's no tag team matchups on the card. So why, how the hell can we have SummerSlam with zero tag team matches? You know what I'm saying? No Raw tag titles, no women's tag titles, no SmackDown Live tag titles. So I think that we're going to get some tag team matches in here, and uh, hopefully the card will flesh itself out some more, and uh, we'll, we'll see what's going on. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the setup. If you missed the Fantasy Attire Collection video and the Weirdest Figures of My Collection video, definitely go check them out the last two days. We had some good stuff in there if you guys want to check those out. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.